Mohl's half leaf experiment. Is carbon dioxide necessary for photosynthesis? Objectives By the end of this video, you will be able to conduct the experiment to prove that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. Give reasons for discharging the plant. Give reason for taking potassium hydroxide inside the bottle as well as mention the precautions to be taken during the experiment. As we all know, the plants are said to be the natural doctors for the environment as they take much of carbon dioxide and leave oxygen for life on the earth. Of course, it is proved in Joseph Priestley's experiment in which the burning candle and mouse survived only in the presence of plant. What for the plants take carbon dioxide? Is it for photosynthesis? Let us conduct an experiment to prove that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. The requirements are potted plant, wide mouthed bottle, splitted cork, potassium hydroxide and the starch test equipment. Take a potted plant. Before conducting the experiment, it has to be destarched because we are going to predict the result on the basis of presence of starch. So if the starch exists already in the plant, we cannot get the proper result. So before conducting the experiment, we need to remove the starch which is already present in the leaf. To do so, we need to keep the potted plant in a dark room for a week. When it is kept in the dark room, we can ensure that there is no any further synthesis of carbohydrates as well as the existing carbohydrates will be utilized for several metabolic activities. And remember to water the plant regularly. So when we keep this plant for a week in a dark room, most of the starch will be utilized for several activities and we can ensure very very minute or less or negligible traces of starch in the leaf. So after destarching the plant, take the plant out of the dark room, take a wide mouthed bottle along with potassium hydroxide. Why do we take potassium hydroxide? Potassium hydroxide reacts with carbon dioxide and evacuate it from bottle so that carbon dioxide can be made unavailable for the leaf. Now, insert one of the leaves of the plant into the bottle through the mouth. Fix a splitted cork to the mouth of the bottle so as that the leaf has to move through the split without damaging the leaf. Apply Vaseline at the mouth of the bottle to prevent the entry of air. Keep this arrangement under the sunlight for several hours. After completion of the experiment, take the leaf which is made unavailable of the carbon dioxide as well as another leaf which is provided with all the requirements of photosynthesis. Conduct starch test for both of these leaves. After conducting the starch test, the leaf A which is made unavailable with the carbon dioxide shows the traces of starch or the bluish black patches on the part of the leaf which is outside the bottle. Whereas in the leaf B, the bluish black patches appear throughout the leaf. With this, we can prove that carbon dioxide is one of the necessary requirement for process of photosynthesis. Precautions While doing this experiment, we need to take several precautions. The cork has to be fixed very tightly and applied Vaseline to prevent the entry of carbon dioxide. And also, better to take potassium hydroxide pellets rather than solution to get proper result. Summary With this video, we have conducted the experiment to prove that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis, give reasons for destarching the plant as well as mentioned about the precautions to be taken while conducting the experiment.